this concept of one-on-ones between managers and their employees. In the book, I think you quote an example. I think their names are David and April uh, in the book. And it's, a, it's an example where you say that a manager met with their direct report to coach them on how to manage their time and review their schedule on an ongoing basis. And I thought this was super powerful because I wish more managers did this. So this, this is a life-changing practice, okay? This is something that uh, very few people know about or implement that will absolutely change your life. So the idea here, back to step, remember we talked about step number two around mm -hmm. making time, time for traction. Boxing. What I want people to do as individuals is to have that time box schedule, right? Where you know how you intend to spend your time, okay? And this, this isn't a big technique, right? Like, or a, a big time suck. This is like 15, 20 minutes a week, maybe, that you spend doing this. So the beauty of this, of doing this for yourself, is that now you have a physical artifact Right? You have something that you can print up or you can screenshot and you can show to other people in your life. And you can show them, here is how mm -hmm. I intend to spend my time. Because other people uh, are owed your time, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your kids, whether it's your employer, you owe time to people in your life if you care about the relationship, right? And so here's, here's why this is such an impactful technique. This is called schedule syncing schedule okay. syncing and it's something you cannot do with a to-do list you can only do it with a time box schedule what you do is once a week you sit down with your manager uh and you and you say okay look boss here is my week ahead here is how i plan to spend my time you only show them you know the working hours when you plan to to to, to do work related tasks and you show them how you plan to spend your week in big chunks of time. Okay, here's my time for meetings. Here's my time to work on project A. Here's my time to work on project B, whatever the case might be. You sit down with your manager and you show them that schedule. Now, why is this so powerful? Because it helps you find a much better solution to some of the stupidest advice on personal productivity out there. Some of the worst productivity advice is, and I've heard, I know you've heard it a million times. Yeah. <laughs> what's the solution to staying focused and not getting distracted. The solution is learn how to say no. That is the worst advice <laughs> because you're going to tell me that you're going to look at your boss, the person who pays your paycheck every month, and you're going to tell your boss, no, what kind of stupid <laughs> advice is that? You're going to get fired. <laughs> you can't tell your boss, no, I don't want to do that project, right? So instead, don't be the one who says no. Make your boss the one that has to mm -hmm. make that kind of decision. How do you do that? You take your time box calendar, you show it to your manager, your boss, and you say, look, here's how I intend to spend my time this week. Now, you see this other piece of paper over here? Here's where I wrote down all the things that I couldn't fit into that calendar, that I didn't know where to put in. I ran out of time slots to yeah. do these other tasks. Can you help me reprioritize? So is there anything on this list over here that should be in my calendar that currently isn't? Your boss will worship the ground you walk on. Why? Employers, our managers are so curious to know what you do with your time. Yeah. They don't know, right? They're constantly wondering, hey, how is that person actually spending their time? But they don't want to ask you because they don't want to feel like you're being micromanaged. Or micromanagers, yeah. Right. They don't want to do that. So they don't want to ask you this. So don't make them ask you for this. Do it voluntarily. This is called managing up, right? Yes. This is managing your manager. So what you do is you show them this calendar of what you plan to do, what you, what you didn't be, what you weren't able to fill in for the week ahead and you let them reprioritize for you. And what will always happen, at least with one task, your boss or manager will say, actually, you know what? That thing you have on your calendar, that's actually a lot less important than that thing that's on that piece of paper. Let's swap those out. Okay, let's switch mm -hmm. those. And that process of weekly having this check-in with your manager and saying, here's how I intend to spend my time. Can we do a quick schedule sync? It takes 15 minutes a week and it will completely change your work life. Yeah, it's such a great way to make sure that you're working on the right things, right? And like you said, you're that you're managing up. That's so important if you want to advance in your career.